Over the many years, Rockstar Games has been known for writing and producing the most compelling stories within the entertainment industry. And it seems with Grand Theft Auto 6, it is shaping up to be the same case with our two main protagonists, Lucia and Jason. What story is Rockstar Games going for? What do we currently know? And what can we expect next? That's what we're going to be discussing within today's video and a whole lot more. But before we get straight into it today, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome on in. Please make sure to subscribe to Project Vice. Help the channel out as much as you can. It is greatly appreciated. Like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming GTA 6 video. But let's get straight into it. So what is Rockstar Games going for in terms of the story within Grand Theft Auto 6? Well, we do actually have a bit of an idea of what that is. Before we touch on any official information from Rockstar Games in terms of Trailer 1, there was an article that came out in July of 2022 from reputable games journalist Jason Schreier, and he actually briefly touched on the story and what Rockstar Games is going for. And this was obviously before Trailer 1 and even the September 2022 leaks even came out. And he goes by saying that Grand Theft Auto 6 will include a playable female protagonist for the first time who is a Latina woman who we now know as Lucia and she will be one of a pair of leading characters in a story influenced by the bank robbers Bonnie and Clyde. If you guys are unfamiliar with Bonnie and Clyde there were a couple back during the Great Depression in the early 1930s who traveled around central United States and they were known for a series of bank robberies, murders and numerous kidnappings. It seems that based off this article from Jason Trier that Rockstar Games seems to be taking inspiration and are going to be utilizing it within this story with Lucia and Jason. Also worth noting that Bonnie and Clyde actually died in a blaze of gunfire. That will be something interesting in terms of how Rockstar Games will be approaching it in regards to the end of the story with our two main protagonists. So we all know that within early December of last year, Rockstar Games released the first trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6, which seemed to mainly focus on our female protagonist, Lucia. And it depicted Lucia as a prison inmate at the Leonidas State Prison, and she's also actually seen talking with one of the corrections officers at the prison as well. And the two pieces of dialogue that is exchanged between the two is first of all from the corrections officer saying Lucia do you know why you're here with her saying bad luck I guess now that piece of dialogue right there is very very important which I'm going to touch on a little bit later but getting into our other main protagonist who is a male he's actually unnamed officially but unofficially we know him as Jason from the September 2022 leaks we don't know much of Jason at the moment but what we do know is that he is seen numerous times within the trailer driving away, evading custody from what seemed to be a local store robbery with Lucia. Another time he's actually seen with her in a bed and they are on top of each other. And then another time he is also seen driving with a convertible with Lucia wailing her arms up in the air. I'm sure Rockstar Games have intentionally done this by focusing much more so on Lucia within this first trailer. Now I'm sure that within the second trailer we'll see much more of Jason. I'll touch on that a little bit more later on but getting back to the dialogue exchange between Lucia and the corrections officer in terms of this dialogue exchange what can we actually learn from this first trailer with this well in terms of one of the theories out there it seems that a lot of people are speculating and theorizing that the trailer is in reverse and what we see towards the end of the trailer where they are evading custody from the store robbery is actually the start and the commencement of the story prior to Lucia actually being arrested and sent to the Leonidas State Prison and then with her saying a bad luck I guess does this mean bad luck because she was the one that got arrested and Jason was the one that evaded custody obviously it is very interesting because we don't know where Jason is is that in terms of this point in the story, if it is at the start, we don't know where Jason is. Obviously, we know where Lucia is. Could this mean because Jason got away and Lucia didn't? Would this mean that now once Lucia potentially gets released from a prison, does this mean that themes of betrayal and revenge could come into play or could the overarching theme of love take precedence in terms of the romantic relationship between the two? Obviously, we don't know at the moment. Once we learn a little bit more from Rockstar Games, we'll gain a little bit more of a better idea, obviously, but what we else can decipher from the trailer is actually the lyrics of the song used in the trailer, and that is Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty. What seems really interesting in terms of the lyrics used within the song, it seems to be actually potentially telling the story from Jason's perspective. With the start of the song going, there was a girl I knew, she said she cared about me. She tried to make my world the way she thought it should be. Now, does this verse in the song potentially hint at Lucia being somewhat controlling within the relationship? Obviously, it's hard to say at the moment, but seeing that within the first trailer, she was the one kicking the door down, one walking in front of Jason as well. It for sure does look that way. Could Rockstar Games be planting the seeds in our heads that Lucia is the, in fact, main protagonist within this Bonnie and Clyde-like story? And the chorus of the song, which we have heard numerous times now, I'm sure if you've watched the trailer probably a billion times, 
times is love is a long road. One of the main takeaways I can get from this is that in fact love is a long road when you're in love with someone. There's going to be fights, you're going to have your ups and downs, you're going to be happy at times, you're going to be down at times. And also one of the other things that we got from the trailer towards the end was Lucia saying to Jason, trust with Jason replying, trust. So does this mean that, you know, to trust me, to hold on, Jason, you got to trust me, we're going to get through this, we're going to stick together and be a team, which was also another line used within the trailer from Lucia. Does this mean that if Jason doesn't trust Lucia, Lucia will then turn on him and take revenge on him and then themes of betrayal will come into effect and precede the overarching theme of love, which is probably going to be the main theme of this upcoming game. Now, we've gone over trailer one quite a fair bit right there, but what can we actually expect next within trailer two? That is probably the main question and the main reason why you're probably tuning in on this video. What is that we're going to know next in terms of this Bonnie and Clyde-like story? Well, probably the main thing that we are going to see, and I've said this in numerous videos before, is that we're most likely going to be seeing much more of Jason. Jason is probably going to take much more of a presence within the trailer. We still don't know currently anything about him, but one of the few questions and one specific question we can ask is, what happened to Jason after that store robbery? Obviously, we know that Lucia got sent to the Leonai State Prison. She is currently arrested. Where is Jason? What happened to him? Did he just end up evading custody and somehow escape to somewhere trying to remain undetected from the law? I think that is definitely something that we will most likely see within a trailer too. I'm sure a lot of the questions will be answered. If you guys want to know my thoughts, my personal opinion, I would say that we're definitely going to be seeing much more of Jason within the second trailer. Of course, we're probably going to be seeing Lucia as well. One of the potential scenarios I can think of in my head is that maybe perhaps one of the side characters that were featured within the leaked footage back in September of 2022, so those leaks that did come out, could maybe one of those or few of those side characters be helping out Jason or helped out Jason to evade custody? That's one of my theories I'm going to put out there. But now I want to hear from you guys down in that comment section below. Firstly, what do you make of the story that Rockstar Games is going for? Do you like it? Do you not? So what are your thoughts and theories on Trailer 1? I would be sure to love reading all of your comments down below and your thoughts. And also, what do you expect next within the upcoming next trailer, Trailer 2? By that, guys, make sure to subscribe to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming GTA 6 related video. By that, guys, stay safe, have a great day, and I am out.